Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to another Five Nights at Freddy's AR video. Oh my god, we have so much stuff to go over. Every single day, there's so much. It's really, really stressful. And the fact that I have more videos that I have already recorded, but I don't have time to edit them, I don't have time to upload them, because I gotta focus on all of this. It's crazy. Highlights for today's video is the ominous Five Nights at Freddy's AR Snapchat filter that was available for a limited time the other day, and also the official name for the augmented reality game, which you guys already know about because it's, uh, yeah. It's in the title. Nope, it's up there. It's, it's in the title up there. And it's also in the thumbnail. I think you guys get the point, so let's just jump right into the information because, again, it's only been 24 hours and we still have so much to go over. Oh my god, what is... What is with this? We never get this most this much information. It's just it's it's insane. I don't know what else to say. It's insane. So there's this. Uh, this is a screenshot taken from uh, Fusion Z Gamers video that he made on the subject. Link down below. But basically, this is the entire premise summed up into one picture. Over here we have the Snapchat filter of Freddy, which we'll get more into later. And then we also have the official title and logo for the game. Five Nights at Freddy's Augmented Reality Special Delivery, and we'll um, get more into these, of course, uh, right now, actually. So before we get into all of that, let's do a little bit of recapping. So, this is the message that was on FNAFAR.com uh, yesterday, the 11th. If you are very quiet, maybe I will not find you. Now, there's not really much I can go into here because it's, it's pretty self-explanatory if we be quiet. They won't hear us. So, a uh, possible theory is that we obviously are going to be hiding from them, uh, <laughs> hiding from them, and, I don't know, maybe the phone or the app can detect how loud we're being. That would be a really cool mechanic, um, and the quieter we are, the less chance um, they have of finding us. I think that would be really cool. Uh, I'm not sure if that will be what it's like, but... Again, it's interesting. Refreshing uh, FNAFAR.com. Today on the 12th, we have I've Been Living in the Shadows. Now, this um, particular message, I can really only think of one thing, um, which is, again, relating back to FNAF 4, um, specifically Nightmare Freddy. If you remember in Custom Night, he had a line saying, I have always been lurking in the shadows, which, of course, is not a direct quote, but... Besides it being pretty self-explanatory, they're just, um, living in the shadows, <laughs> literally what it says. This is really the only connection I can think of, but still an interesting message. And again, these are being updated daily, so keep an eye out on that. And of course, the Reddit, um, you saw me using it for yesterday's message. They, people are always going to be posting about the messages, so if you miss a day, uh, like me, you can just go on the Reddit and see what it was, so that's super, super helpful. The Looking Glass account has also been changed to include the line, I've been living in the shadows. They they do this with every single message, they alter their description slightly. So the description for the Looking Glass AR uh, YouTube account has actually changed their logo to the special delivery logo, which is super, super interesting. And also, the description reads, nothing yet check back tomorrow and this was updated on the 12th of um of, sep of september so on the 13th of december which just so happens to be friday the 13th coincidence maybe maybe not we should expect something to happen and now we're getting into the juicy stuff so maybe shouldn't start off with this one but this is just a um clear view of the special delivery logo which as you can see looks absolutely fantastic. This is actually the same logo that was in the supposedly fake trailer, which we now know to be official because of this. And uh, first off, here's a higher quality version of the logo. I think that just looks nice. So this was unbelievable. When I saw this in Fusion Z Gamers video, I absolutely could not believe it. There was actually a leaked lens on Snapchat for the Five Nights at Freddy's AR game, which is just insane that FNAF and Snapchat had a thing, you know. There was an official lens for FNAF on freaking Snapchat. That is just insane, really. 
If you would have told me five years ago that FNAF was going to have a Snapchat filter, I wouldn't believe you. Was Snapchat a thing five years ago? I don't know. You already saw what it looked like partially, but this is it in use. You can see the endoskeleton poking through the mask right here. Of course, the it's me at the bottom. And here, actually, is a video showing it off. Let's get this thing in full screen so we can see it better. I don't know, uh, probably to tease the AR game. Um, so we don't really need much noise here, but this video will be, of course, linked down below if you guys want to check it out. But you can see uh, it's basically just like any other filter. It tracks your face and it puts a Freddy mask on it. And when you talk, it opens the jar. It's very cool. Hello there, my name Eyes is Eyes turn Freddy red at some Fazbear. point. Why, why, why is this a filter? I think it's absolutely incredible. I don't know why you're questioning questioning it. It looks awesome. The It's Me is always at the bottom, as well as the logo advertising the, um, what do you call it? So, I didn't actually get to use it. I do have Snapchat. I don't know where my phone is, unfortunately, but what I want to do is actually text some of my friends that constantly use Snapchat. They're not going to respond, um, but, you know, they're on it a lot, so I would like to know if they did see this, because it is just absolutely incredible that this was a thing that actually happened. Now, of course, it's since been taken down, but oh man, look at that, the red eyes, the glowing red eyes, that is awesome. Of course, it's been taken down because this was technically a leak, I guess you could say, because not only did we get the leaked Snapchat filter, we also got the leaked um, logo and title for the game. I really hope this comes back because, boy, do I really wanna use this because it does look super, super good. But yeah, this was an incredible, video to make because again FNAF having a snapchat filter is crazy it's one of those advancements in the community of FNAF that just is really really crazy to think about because you know FNAF was Scott's last game what was supposedly his last game before he wanted to stop entirely making games which is just crazy that it's come this far that we've gotten a snapchat filter made about it we've got we've had an uh vr game an ar game about it we're getting a movie about it we'll we have several books and several games it's just crazy how far it's come and this is another step <laughs> on the fnaf ladder i guess you could say but yeah we now have an official name five nights at freddy's ar special delivery and i forgot to mention something um, mostly because I don't know if this was related to Help Wanted or not, but it is something that Fusion um, talked about in this video. There was a teaser on, oh god, what's the name of it again? Okay, Illumix is the name of it, and it's Looking Glass's official name. Um, if you went here, supposedly there was a teaser announcing something that would be released on September 18th, which is in less than one week. Now, we don't know if this was... Um, Five Nights at Freddy's AR related or not, but it is something worth looking into, and of course, because the teaser has been taken down, I'm going to put it up right now. As you can see, it doesn't look like it's FNAF related, but who knows, it, it could be announcing something, so man, can you imagine if Five Nights at Freddy's AR came out, like, supposedly like a month early, because its original release was October, and now we're in like mid-September, so... That's basically a whole month less we have to wait. And Scott does have a tendency of releasing things early, but because he is working with another team, uh, I'm not sure exactly how likely it is for it to be released early. If you remember, um, Help Wanted got delayed several times, which was a first for the FNAF games, which was really crazy to wrap my head around. That's the first time a game has ever been delayed. Again, I don't know if that's FNAF related or not, uh, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see again. The 18th is in less than one month, so we got something to look forward to. But that is it for today's video. Just amazing news overall. The Snapchat filter, again, I hope that comes back because that looks incredible and I want to try it out for myself and the official name. So thank you everyone so much for watching this, uh, this update video. I'm sure there's going to be another one tomorrow because stuff just keeps coming out and coming out and there's just so much information. Oh my god, but that's it. Thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.